Rick that originally planned to have no mask mandate is changing course after a COVID outbreak among staff members. TV 5's Trevor Sahaki tells us which students need to mask up and whether this will be permanent. Two days after Gladwin Community Schools sent out this letter telling parents kids don't need a mask at school, the district is changing its guidelines. After about a dozen staff got COVID, Gladwin Elementary students now need a mask indoors. No, we, had, we did not expect that. You know, we certainly didn't expect that would happen. TV5 spoke with the district superintendent, Rick Seebeck, on the phone because he has COVID too, a breakthrough infection. The good news is, from my personal experience, at least so far, um, the vaccine seems to be working. I'm not sick. You know, I'm, I've been exposed, I tested positive, but I'm, I'm not sick. Since the cases are in a building where the students can't be vaccinated yet, Seebeck felt masking was the best option. One dying is too many. Mm -hmm. right? Who wants that on, uh, on their watch? So I, even though I understand that kids are relatively, um, are relatively safe from severe complications and even death, they're not totally impervious to it. He believes the majority of parents support the decision, but says the rhetoric of some of those who don't is too much. The names people have called my staff and me and the emails that we've gotten just spewing vile language and, and hate, um, it's just been very disappointing. Since the infections appear to have happened last week, as long as there's not much more COVID spread, Seebeck hopes to remove the mask mandate next week. My job is to keep the kids safe and give them the best possible education considering the circumstances that we're all in. Another district, Midland Public Schools, also announced K-6 through graders have to mask up indoors due to classroom spread. Trevor Sahaki, WNEM, TV5.